place and tight. Lock and handles engaged. All your tires have good tread depth. Another sign that you would have a loose one be a lot of rust around it. Or if you had a um, elongated hole, and that'd be a sign of the wheels, lug nuts have loose and the wheels going back and forth, just wallered it out. I've seen that a couple times. Um, here we have sliding tandems. <clears throat> uh, this being a 53 foot trailer, for the state of Florida, they have to be 41 feet or less from the center of the tandems to the center of the kingpin where it hooks into the fifth wheel plate. So he is definitely less than 41 feet. Some companies do put marks here on the trailer. See, this one here says it's 40 feet. A general rule of thumb, I can't speak for all of them. You've got a, a sheet of metal here, a sheet of metal here. A lot of times if you have your tandems along it here, you're gonna be right at the 41 foot mark. And that's just something I've learned over the years. And with the sliding tandems, you have locking pins. Um, okay, this trailer, for instance, both of them are here on the front. Right here. So this trailer, you're gonna have both of them paired up. Have to make sure that they are locked in so your tandems don't slide back while going down the road. And there'll also be another set on the other side. Some trailers you'll have one up here and you'll have one on the rear side. Okay, you gotta have a minimum of two. Um, it depends on the manufacturer, but if you've got two on this side, you're going to have two on the other side. Okay. They're always paired up. Good tread depth. No signs of rust, no cracks in the wheel. Marker light's good. 